Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to configure SSH authentication using Radius server. So are you ready? Let's get started. So normally when you are connecting to your Cisco router you are actually using some credentials and most of the time those credentials are stored on the router itself or on the Cisco device itself in local database okay so here I'm connected to my uh, Cisco router using local user account so I call it Aminos so if I show here the configuration you can see that I have created username called Aminos with this secret password okay and this username allows me to connect via SSH to my Cisco device okay so in this video we're gonna actually use an external and more secure server which we call radio server in order to authenticate okay so here we'll be using a free software that you can download from the internet called win radius okay so first of all let me show you if you download this uh, actually free program from the internet you get a zip file and you get actually a couple of files here so this is the main program which is dot exec so here I'm using as you can see Windows and here is the database which actually a Microsoft access database which actually will be stored all your users so a couple of things here to note in order to launch this win radius you have to right click and run it as an admin so usually do that in order to avoid any problems okay so let's launch it and see what we get okay so this is the main interface for our win radius okay so here all you have to do the first thing that you have to do is actually to go to the settings okay system and to not this NAS secret because we'll be using it in our configuration in our router and also to not the authorization port which is here by default 1812 and accounting port which is 1830 okay but also the most important thing that you have to do is to link the database because as I have told you this program using Microsoft Access database that you must configure so the first thing that you have to do is to click on this button here configure ODBC automatically so as you can see here as not this program used uh, Microsoft Access Database okay so let's click on this and OK and here you you can see an important message that created ODBC successfully so please restart the win radius to take effect so we have to restart our radio server okay so let's launch it once again as an admin here we go here we have also some couple of uh, problems try another port and then restart radius okay so maybe it's better to close it exit and make sure there is no running config because actually I launched it twice so let's launch once again our rain wind radius here we go so now i guess everything is okay because here the message is wind radius is running okay so the authentication port is 1812 and accounting port is 1830 so now we are ready to create our users so 
as I told you, will be creating users in this Win Radio server and not in local database in our Cisco device. So in order to add user, pretty simple, you go to operation add user. So let's for example create user name user1 and for a password something special Cisco123 for example and you hit OK so you can see the message here add user successfully which means that we have actually added users to this win server and we can verify that if we open the access database if you have uh, access Microsoft Access installed you can open this MDP database and you can see actually there are a couple just three tables and the TB users you can see that the user has been added to this table so this is just an option to verify but you can skip it if you don't have Microsoft Access installed in your PC okay so the main thing here that we have successfully created our actually user and with this user will be trying to connect to actually Cisco device so let's go to my Cisco router and configure all the things needed in order to allow user one in the win radius to connect to our Cisco device so the first thing we have to enable triple A services so in order to enable triple A services in the global config mode we tap the command triple A so here the triple A means the first A for authentication, the second one for authorization and the third one for a content. Okay. So the first command that we have to enter in order to allow uh, Win Radio Server's account to connect to my uh, Cisco device is to enable triple A services with this command new model. Here we go. Now we can actually uh, also configure what we call triple A or implement triple A services okay so in order to do that we enter also the command triple A then authentication here we go login so this is the command I'll be here using the default list okay with the group here the group will specify the authentication methods so we'll be using actually two methods first one is radius because we'll be using our radio server and second method is local so why we are using two methods because in case of we have no connection to our radio server we must use your our user account okay so you should always do that configure at least two methods in case of one fails the second one you can actually use it so for example if we don't have access to the user one that we have created in our radio server we can use the users in our local database in our Cisco device okay so this is what this command means okay now we are done with this triple A configuration we have now to configure our radio server okay so as I told you this uh, radius server is installed on my local machine so let's configure it in our Cisco device so the first command is radius then server then here we have to specify a name for our radio server you can do whatever you want let's for example name it win radius because actually we are using win radius application okay then we have to enter the IP address of our win radius so where our software is installed so we have to specify the address IPv4 so here this is the IP address of my PC okay then we can also specify the authentication port in order to avoid any uh, conflict so as I told you, let's go once again to our win radius. If I go to the settings system, you can see here that we have our key, which is win radius, and we have authorization port and accounting port. So we have to type here authentication then accounting also port. 
Actually, I forget a T. Here we go. I'll continue port 1830. Okay, and the last part is we have to provide the same key that is configured in our win radius. So if I go back, so the key here is win radius. So make sure it's case sensitive. So the first W is capital and first R is also capital. So let's go back to my uh, and we enter this key using the key keyword. Then win radius. Here we go. We are almost done. So now we have finished with the configuration of our win radio server. So let's exit that. And now we have to go to the our VT Y lines and specify special command to allow the authentication for this default group or default list that we have created here in order to allow SSH authentication using a radius. So we go to our line VTY 0 to 15 and we enter the command login authentication and our list which is default. Here we go. So this is all the command needed in order to allow actually or to configure SSH authentication using uh, radio server and make sure to always have a local user in case of our radio server doesn't work or failed okay so let's exit and test that so now I'm connected here to my Cisco router using this uh, actually user so let me show you Actually, let's dis disconnect. Here we go, disconnect. Okay. And let's try to reconnect. Okay. So normally, I'm connected here using user, which is in my local database, but I can try to disconnect and provide the username that we have configured in our win radius. Okay. So let's go to the six options and for login I will delete this one in order to provide me with the default one. Okay, okay, so let's reconnect and let's enter the user that we have provided for win radius. So this is user one. Here we go. Now we have connected. Let's verify that. And you can see here in the log of our win radius it has actually authenticated it said user user one authenticated okay okay so we have successfully connected to my Cisco devices using actually not the local database which is stored in our Cisco device but using the user that we have actually configured in our win radius you can add another user if you want. For example, let's test user two with the password. Password. Okay, so user has been added successfully. Let's disconnect from our Cisco router. Let's connect once again. Here it's using the same one, disconnect which is user one so let's uh, delete it okay let's connect now let's provide the user two with the password password actually so here it said passwords pass word okay and we are in okay so you can see that I successfully connected to my Cisco router and I can verify that always using our win radius so you can see here the first attempt was failed but second one which I provided the username is successful okay
So you can see how easy it is to use external Win server in order to authenticate SSH users and without using the local database in our Cisco devices. So that one, just a brief introduction how to use actually or to configure SSH authentication using external radio server and in this case we are using WinRadius which is a free software installed on our PC. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.